Hey everyone, it's Erin Chung and I am here with Jessica Berger. And so Jessica, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? I wanna know who you are, where you're from and who you serve. Awesome, um, so I'm Jessica. I'm in the Portland area in Oregon, not Maine. Um, and I've been a realtor for almost 10 years now. Um, I joined the Academy in February uh, and it's been really, really great so far. Nice, nice. So I always like to ask people um, when they join, which you already told us, but like, how do you remember the customer journey? Like, how did you even um, find me or like, how did you, do you remember how you even entered this world? Um, I found you on Instagram or Facebook. I don't remember. It was an ad that popped up in my newsfeed and it was on like a Monday night and I wasn't doing anything. And I was like, I mean, I'll watch this hour long class. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> um, <laughs> And I thought it was really cool and very different from anything else that I'd seen. So I signed up that night. Awesome. Okay, cool. And then also like, um, talk to me just a little bit about, like, I know that you're doing something really cool called, is it like Friday favorites or talk to me about that? Um, so we go um, and meet different business owners. So far they've all been restaurants because I'm a total foodie. Um, but we go meet different restaurant owners and sit down and we interview the owner and then we um, do videos like behind the scenes of them making drinks and then cooking and then we just focus on how long they've been there, what they love about the neighborhood so it ties it a little bit into real estate. Um, and then we do like a big giveaway and we run an ad and you know everything at the back end. But it's super fun to get to know everyone in the community and it's really, really well received. So we love that. <laughs> One of the things that I like the best about doing like a like community influencer marketing is the fact that you can have a little bit more fun during your lead generation process. So I think that's amazing because you're out there and you're in the community. And also it's like, you're able to spotlight other local business owners and you never know where that's going to lead to. Like I talk about this story sometimes where, um, I actually did like a blog post on, I've done lots of blog posts on local hotspots, but one of them I did was like a really cool, like pet store one. And like when I, every time I go in there, even to this day, he's yeah. still like, cuts me in the front of the line and like gives me a whole bunch of free stuff. And like, it's really cool. Because, like we never forget, you know? So <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Cool. Um, so talk to me just a little bit about like, do you remember what, um, how long have you been in real estate for? I'm just curious. Almost 10 years. Nice. Okay. Wow. 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 Okay. So like before you joined the Academy, just tell me a little bit, like, um, did you, have any experience with online marketing or like how did you even come up with any of these ideas like what was life like before uh joining the program um well so i was on a team so i didn't actually pay for any of our lead generation but we did all sorts of things like tiger leads and boomtown um and then at the end we had joined y lobo which is basically very expensive facebook marketing and i was like this is dumb why are we paying so much money for this and then you taught us how to do it and like comparing what we used to pay to what I pay for literally the same, uh, leads. I'm just like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing to generate your own leads because <laughs> like you said, it gets really expensive. And I'm like, I don't know the way that I see the math is like, um, I know these companies, they're marketing companies, so they have to take money off the top. I totally get that. But it's like, I would honestly rather learn how to do it myself. And so then I can dump all 100% of the pie into yeah. Facebook ads, as opposed to like splitting it up between like 80, 20 or whatever, however mm -hmm. that works out. So mm -hmm. totally agree with you. So you were on a team before you weren't responsible for generating your leads, but you obviously do like generate your own leads now. So like, yeah. what's that like for you? Like, are you, what's it like for you? <laughs> Um, well, I really like being in control of it. Um, and like, it is a hundred percent up to me to go out and make my own business. So I'm way more motivated to go out and make my own business. Cause I don't have something else being like, well, it'll come eventually. It's really nice to just, you have to go to work every day because otherwise I'm not going to be doing anything. Um, and I'm really self-motivated anyway, but it's just an extra little push. Totally. To figure it out. Yes. Yes. Awesome. And then also like, have you had any big aha moments or like, what was the, the thing that you've really like gained the most or like, what's your big, big win or big aha moment from, from being a member? Um, I think the biggest thing 
was focusing more on community and less on buy a house, buy a house, buy a house, buy a house. Um, because I get so much more engagement. I've gotten a lot of people that have reached out and been like, oh, I totally didn't know you were a realtor and I never really followed you before, but like your posts are so interesting now. So like we pay attention to what you're doing. Um, and so just like the marketing has been huge. And then like running my own ads, I run them for all my open houses and I get a ton of leads every single time I do it. Um, so then I just have to nurture them. But I mean, I have like this huge pipeline and all of it I learned here. So it's nice. Yeah. Yes. I think it's amazing because like if your marketing is community focused, which is obviously like, you know, what we teach in the Academy, but it's like exactly like you said, that's, that was my experience as well. Cause I was on a team when I first started and it was like, I was taught to focus on myself and it was like, that got old real fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm like, what else am I supposed to talk about? Like, and then it was like, okay, well, when you have a new listing, like, I want you to go live and do that. And I'm like, okay, but like my family and friends hate me now. <laughs> like yeah, nobody is all I talk about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So like, I just felt like some weird, like Tupperware party girl or like, like an yeah, Avon lady, yeah. or something, you know? No, totally. So yeah. So that's great. Like, I think it's really wise to focus on the community and like, you always have an infinite amount of content that you can always um, talk about. It never gets old. And then kind of like you said, like your marketing is easier, but also mm -hmm. going on camera is easier. Like it's so much easier to talk about someone else's business or like your community than it is to talk about yourself. So I love all of that. That's amazing. Have you um, experienced any actual like results from the program yet? Um, where are you like, um, yeah. tell me about that. Um, well, so I got, I don't know, like five, I want to say buyers, all of them like very, very old sphere, like from high school or like my very first job and people that I haven't really talked to anymore, but doing the like birthday message, they were like, oh my gosh, amazing. And as soon as you say, how are you? What are you up to? They always ask you. And I've had them be like, oh, weird. I'm thinking of moving back to Portland and I was like dreading looking for a realtor, but now I just have you. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. That's so cool. Yeah. Like that's, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you brought this up because a lot of times, like when we think about social media, a lot of it is just like, you're thinking about posting and mm -hmm. you know, you post and you're like, God knows who's listening. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, but like, I think it's cool because you actually incorporated a lot of the prospecting um, methods, which like yeah. your sphere is all on, on Facebook and like Instagram. So it's so easy to just start up conversations. And it's like, it's weird because I talk about this all the time, but it, like, it's not always like appropriate to call some of those past high school people, but it's always appropriate to chat them and be like, Hey, what's going on? So that sounds like what, what you've been doing. Yeah, it cool. is. Yeah. It's been great. And someone at one of my office meetings was talking about social media and like, it's called social media for a reason. Like you can't just like post and disappear. You have to be social. And I was like, it's a good reminder. Yeah. You have to talk to people and engage with people. You can't just like post your day's posts and then never log in again. Okay. Yes. I call it, um, posting and ghosting. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. It's like, I always use the analogy of like social media is like a party, like a Christmas party. So mm -hmm. you go in there, you wouldn't just like talk about real estate hundred percent of the time. You would talk about the other person. You would talk about lots of variety of topics. And so, um, I like to use social media and use that analogy. Cause it's like, mm -hmm. I think sometimes we have a hard time because when you're behind a computer, we forget that we need to be social, but you're 100% right. It's like we get on there and it's just like a Christmas party. It's just virtual. That's all it is. That's the only difference. Yeah. Like, you know, talk about what is interesting to other people, not just what's interesting to you. So. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, um, anything else that you want to like maybe add or anything at all before we go ahead and close out? Um, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. I really appreciate you being here. Yeah, thank you. Okay, cool. I'll see you in the Facebook group. Bye. Bye. <laughs>